fire at the end like this with only three So they're uh, doing the drill pretty slowly and they're doing it uh, pretty very safely uh, for, <laughs> you know, for their uh, concern so they don't want to get hurt. Uh, they're doing a dry run through first and then they'll be actually fire for the second time. So what you saw the first person do uh, was take out the inside of the gun with a hook uh, to make sure that there was no debris which could interfere with the fire. What they're doing now is plugging the touch hole, the hole at the base of the cannon to create a vacuum. While the sponger, uh, the pretty the giant sponge on the stick, uh, dips it in the water and tries to extinguish any of the sparks that were made from the previous firing. Mm -hmm. Those sparks should set off the charge prematurely while you're loading it. It's very important to see. So now they're just practicing ramming the cartridge down to the base of the barrel. The commander is also functioning as the vent person, right, as the belly box with uh, various pins. Uh, those pins are used to clean out the inside of the touch hole, uh, which will be where you will put the coil, which will connect the heat from the lift box with that paper and carry it into the charge of powder inside the barrel. So now they just have finished their dry run through and they're actually performing uh, the drill. So the next time you see the lift stock uh, carrier marching towards the cannon, that's when you'll know it'll fire. And uh, for those of you who are sensitive to loud noises, I recommend covering your ears when you see that. This one uh, did fire up to about 900 meters, but before nice. that point, it really hit the ground. So up to about four or 500 meters. They were warned. So he tried home, that's just checking to see if the cartridge of gunpowder had made it right underneath the vent. That's where he would be in order to go to the So the flow can vary uh Whoa. I'm recording that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so awesome. We're performing uh, the procedure yet again to clear the gun and then the uh, cartridge to be the oil and to make sure that the uh, thing that will that Oh, it's so bad.